Uh, this trip was different than any trips that we've done in the past um, because we were going to a totally new geographic region. headed west um, to a place that is very different altogether from where we live. It felt natural in the sense that being on the road is home, getting in the uh, rig, truck and trailer and, and driving out um, you know, 1,200 miles to a totally new place. It was awesome because it was new and there's excitement in going to new places and meeting new people. It's, that's what we love, I think, you know. Um, venue itself was a personal residence, so, you know, it wasn't a surf shop. We hadn't seen it, we didn't you know really what to expect. In a lot of ways, I felt like what I was gonna come across was something that was like home away from home, and that's exactly what we found. They're, you know, almost halfway across the country, and it's a very, very tight community, much like ours here in Maine, and usually when it's rainy and sleet and cold and whipping wind, they're out there surfing among ice chunks. They need to to get waves, and those waves may just be two foot wind chop, but it just doesn't matter. We found that you know the boards paddle great in that kind of weather, and, and I think that those guys will find the same thing. I just started surfing Lake Michigan a few years ago, and it's one of the most fun exhilarating things I've ever done. One of the best places I've surfed, actually. Fresh water is it's, it's like nothing else. It's just great to, to surf in a clean, fresh, um, very cleansing environment. There's no aggression. It's a pretty cool vibe, and it can be a sort of bit of solitude. You don't have crowds. You don't have hassles. But the community is great, and they're they're getting into it. People are getting into surfing and starting to get into you know kite surfing as well, and starting to utilize the lake and boards, and it's pretty cool to watch. I think when people who don't know what to expect and don't necessarily know each other coming to a new place for the first time, you know, there's always, you know, natural hesitations and upon being around, you know, strangers they've not yet met. Everyone has expectations of what a class will be, you know, or what maybe building a surfboard will be. But what we try to do is, you know, as like enablers of this process, of this board building process, is to exceed that by introducing them to not just hand tools and board building techniques and concepts, but you know, friends and an incredible thing happens, you know, over the course of four days. Everyone's working really hard with the same goal, you know, to, to build, you know, a beautiful wooden surfboard to the best of their abilities. And there's a lot of hope in that, you know, and so that goes a long way. When you leave from something like that, it's it's inevitable that you know you're gonna feel a little different, and that's what we usually find is people are just so excited at at what they've learned about themselves, and that's what it's all about. I think um, aside from you know, creating a very functional piece of art, I would hope that we could get back out there um, to the Great Lakes. We've made friends and family out there. I'd love to go back out there and share waves with those guys and, and see how they're enjoying their boards. I'd love to go out and, and teach another workshop. Hopefully we'll be out there sooner than later. 